Good morning and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today, back at Shoreham, and I'm fishing a mark, the Church of the Good Shepherd, which is literally just behind us. Got Andy with me today, a couple of other blokes on, on the beach, and we're down here, early doors. So you can see how early we are down here. The sun is just starting to peak its way over the horizon. Um, loads of jets up in the air. That certainly makes a change to see that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them up there. And um, yeah, hopefully the world is getting back to a little bit of normality. But thank goodness for sea fishing, because I would have gone absolutely bonkers without it. And without a few mates to go out with. So the rigs I'm going to use today, I tied yesterday, um, targeting place, two rods out. So short snood at the top, two up on this one. But a little beads, little flashy silvery thing, beads, flashy silvery thing. Colours kind of at your own choice, really. Blow lug, small hooks, long shank, 160 gripper weight. Tide's coming in, it's going to run, run a bit stronger, may change to a non gripper. And then on this one, same again, short snood at the top, slightly longer snood here, and then I've got a bit of a running ledger at the bottom, and then a hook at the bottom. So I'm going to chuck these out and Fingers crossed, but I know today I have the partner in crime, Andy, who no doubt will catch something before me, which is always the way. So uh, see how we get on. Let's crack these out. Now, <laughs> Andy has caught himself a fish. That's if you can call it a fish. But it's as, yeah, I think that kind of is live bait but I don't care, it's a fish. So we'll bosh out the uh, two hook. Try and not catch Andy. So I'm using today on this um, rod my Abu a few of you know is 40 odd years old but it casts really well <laughs> well impressed with that This is the three hook. And he's reeling in again. Is he reeling into a fish? It would really knack me off. <laughs> he, he has a bloody what's it. <laughs> Andy, come over here. <laughs> he's, I just... <laughs> I, I really, uh, today, maybe I shouldn't have brought you. <laughs> what you got? Species we're after. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. We've, um, at least we've caught fish. So, well, he has. <laughs> so far. Yeah. I'm after the big one. Oh, well chuffed with that. So Andy's caught two fish already. Sun's just getting up. Will he have another one? To my zero. No. Please let me catch fish today. I'm 
tired of watching other people catch fish. So quite a few of you out there have been asking me why didn't I put a video up last week. Um, well, number one, I didn't catch any fish. I was going to go yesterday, but it was too windy. I wasn't going to come today, but kind of a spur of the moment late last night, I thought, you know what, I'll come, I've got some fresh bait. And I wasn't really happy with what I'd actually made, and I'm not just going to put stuff up for the sake of putting it up. But um, today, Andy's caught a couple of fish already. <laughs> That's just sod's law, isn't it? <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, I have a bite. Cool, that makes a change, doesn't it? Please be a place. Right, let's wait patiently and see what happens. Beautiful morning. Blue, blue sky, but the weather's going to change later on today. It's going to get windy again. But I'm going back into my um, weekly loop, so next week. Um, I think it's going to be southwesterlies at the weekend. So Andy and I are going to maybe go somewhere up on the um, north side, Thames Way. Um, out of that direction. Right, let's focus on fishing. Yeah, I don't know whether it's something itty bitty or whether it's crabs. And yet, story of my fishing life, nothing. Bloody tedious. I'm not walk into the line, you idiot. Okay, buzz this back out again. Freshen up the bait, maybe. Now, a few of you asked me if the mother-in-law's been behaving well. Yes, she has, I have to say. Although, she's got this obsession with putting industrial amounts of food out in the back garden for the birds. So we have bird feeders and seed on the ground and oats and bread in industrial amounts and my wife and I have told her you can't really do that because it brings in pigeons etc etc but I was sitting upstairs and I was looking out the window that's very odd I can see like these grey flashes at the end of the garden out of the shed pew 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 and it was like a rat motorway at the end of my garden which really 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 knacked me off and um, I challenged her on it and said, look, we've told you to stop feeding the food to the bloody rat population out there. We've had to lock stuff up. And her defence was, um, and if you met the dog, you'd know why, was, no, 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 they're not rats. I said, well, what are they then? They're grey, they've got big, long pink tails. She went, no, 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 no. They're large mice. Now, I have to say, these were mice on steroids. So I've had to take um, another route uh, because I don't really want rats running amok in my garden. And I suspect the neighbours probably wouldn't want the same. But what is it with me and fishing? I come down here, I was all excited. I thought, yeah, yeah, Andy's got his rods out, he's caught a couple of fish. I'm gonna catch something. Nothing. The man up there, I've watched him catching fish. The man the other side of him has been catching fish. Tide is coming in. Beautiful sunrise. The water looks kind of clearish. It's probably a bit clearer the further out you go. Right, patience I think is the moral.
I think all I can do today is just keep get, getting fresh bait onto the um, hooks and get it out there. Now, this is what fishermen do when <laughs> it gets a bit boring. This. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> aye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andy is sporting a very fancy um, monocle. Would you call that a monocle? Yeah, yeah, I can see yeah? Through, the, through the hole in the middle. Yeah, you look like. <laughs> uh, how can I put this delicately? <laughs> 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 yeah, either some superheroes taking a wrong turn. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, what's going on? Why? No bites. We get down here, bang, bang, two fish. <clears throat> then nothing. No bites, no nothing. Bait going out, bait coming in. We got fresh bait. And I'm talking it is like jumping around fresh bait. It's blow lug, so itty bitty lug worm, but I wrapped them in newspaper so they're a little tighter to put on the hook. Tide's coming in. We've got probably another three quarters of an hour of the tide coming in. Um, but absolutely nothing. We're fishing at different distances. We've got different rigs on. I really don't know. Um, but it's just the contrariness, isn't it? And everyone's been telling me, oh yeah, they've been catching place all along this coast. Well, they have, because I've seen them catch them. Well, Andy's just had one thumper of a bite. And uh, be bloody sod's law, but knowing Andy, he will have caught something. So, let's see what he's got on the end. Yeah, he reckons he's got something. And... Yeah. <laughs> He's caught a place. Well done, fellow. <laughs> I'll bring it over here. Let's have a look at it in front of the camera. Oh, that's a corker. Brilliant. You've kind of saved the day again. <laughs> I just had a fishing buddy of mine ring me. Jed um, asking me how it was going and uh, <laughs> begrudgingly I had to tell him that Andy's got three and I've got zip which seems to be the story of my fishing life. I thought it was going so well and then ooh, last week off a cliff, this week off a cliff. He was asking me how the dog was getting on and I was saying the dog's getting on really well, it's turning into a fantastic animal and it's just ignoring the fat, walking, eating wardrobe of the other dog that lives in the house that belongs to the mother-in-law. Um, but I'm sure it looks at it and thinks, why is there a small horse living in the sitting room at the other end of the house? But I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fishing in the same way as Andy, but evidently he's the better fisherman. Um, um, you lot know that anyway, and uh, he, um, yeah, generally spanks me. And where would I be if I hadn't got him on the beach? <laughs> I'd be getting really demoralised, because I would have had a whole morning of feeling whatever. But at least I know there are fish out there. But it would be nice if I just got a rockling, I'd be happy. But we'll give it another hour and then I'm going to go. So if there are no more fish on the beach, I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, have a good week. Thanks as ever for watching The Idiot Fishing. Next week, don't know where I'm going to go, wind dependent. If it's not too windy, I'm going to try and get back down here again because place are starting to arrive, as you've seen with what Andy caught earlier on and a few other reports up and down the beach. 
Um, if it's unfishable, then I'm going to have to go a little further afield. So, um, yeah, look after yourselves and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Take care.